Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video we are going to learn about functions in Python. But before we can start with the technical aspect of function, let's understand with an example why you will need them. Suppose you want to calculate the area of a circle whose radius is 1 cm. This is a very straightforward pseudocode that you can use to find the area. You take the radius 1, square it and multiply the square by 3.14. Now suppose you have written this code and your friend comes to you and he or she asks you to give the area of a circle whose radius is actually 3 cm. In that case, you don't have to do anything. You can just write another pseudocode. And in this case, you can take the radius 3. Take 3, find the square of 3, multiply the square of 3 with 3.14, and you get the area. So far, so good. But what will happen if there are multiple such friends that you have, and each of them wants you to calculate the area of a circle with different radiuses? Are you going to write the pseudocode again and again? So one approach would be you can just collect all of your friend's circles radius in a list, say radius list, and then use a for loop to loop over all the radius that are present in this list and calculate the area of each of these circles. Now this approach might look a good solution to you at this point. Now if you consider the real world programming, a lot of occasions it happens that you have written your code at some point of time. And after a good amount of time, your code is executed again. Say, after two or three days, someone else comes to you and say, okay, I want to find the area of the circle with radius 196 or something that you haven't already done before. In that case, this logic won't work because for this logic to work, you need to have all the radius present in this list at the start of the program. Now, just to solve this issue, there is another approach using functions in Python. So now this is the problem once again. And solution number two is to find pattern between each of these requests. So if you take a look at both of these pseudocodes, you will realize that the only thing that's changing in the pseudocode is the value of radius and the calculation you do with radius. So here, the first example, it's one. So you take one square and then you multiply the square by 3.14. And here is three, square three, and then multiply this square by 3.14. Everything else essentially stays the same in the pseudocode. So we can take advantage of this situation and we can represent this entire problem statement by just a single pseudocode. In this case, we say we have this task, say area of circle. It has subtask that you can give this area of circle any radius r. With this radius r, we will do this four subtask. It will take r, calculate the square of r and it will multiply the square of r by 3.14 and that's how you'll get the area for that radius. Now, if you haven't already realized, this is actually how a function works. Let's see how you can write this in code. So this is a Python code. In just three lines of code, you will be able to execute this entire pseudocode. And the advantage of this structure that we call function in this case is that you can call this piece of code anytime in your program with any value of r and you'll always get the area for that circle. Let's understand more formally what is a function. The first of all, function is basically any piece of code that is reusable. So what we essentially do is we take this piece of code that is reusable. In our case, it was to find the area of a circle and we just encapsulate or make a structure of this reusable piece of code and we just give it a name. So in this case, this reusable piece of code has the name area underscore circle. Anytime we call this area underscore circle in a program, any value of R will get the area. So we have to only write this code once and we can execute it multiple times. The second point about a function is it is usually used to solve a specific problem. In our case, the specific problem was to find the area of a circle. So let's understand the syntax of creating a function in Python a bit more closely. So on your right, you see the pseudocode and on the left, there is the real code in Python. Let's notice a couple of similarities. The first thing is whatever is the name of your code block or structure or the main task, that will be the name of the function so that it's easier for you to understand what does this function do. In order to give a name to this function, you can write the def keyword, then give space and then write the function name. The def is a Python keyword, which lets you define functions. The next thing is whatever input your pseudocode or your task is expecting. In this case, for example, it's expecting a radius R 
that input will be passed in as a variable to this function. So these circular parentheses are very important while defining a function. So you write the dev keyword, then space, then function name, and then you give the circular parentheses. Inside you pass whatever variable your function is expecting and give a column. As you know, colon and indentation basically says that anything that comes beyond this section is actually belongs to this code block. Just like we have seen this in loops, we have seen this in conditions and etc. Second thing, the body of the function is essentially whatever subtask you want your function to perform. In this case, we wanted to multiply r by itself, then multiply that square by 3.14 and that was area. So that's what we are doing in the body of the function. And finally, there is an another interesting parameter here, which is return. So the return is returning what we have calculated. So return is the keyword. After that, you write the name of variable that you calculated in the subtask. Now, these are some of the concepts that will be more clear in the code. So we are going to see them in much more depth in the next video. Using function that we have defined previously, which is this function, area underscore circle, if you want to calculate the radius one centimeter circle area, you can just say area circle and in the parentheses one. For three centimeters, you can use three and so on. So you can do this for any radius. This is all about functions in Python. Now, there are different kinds of functions in Python. Let's see first a built-in function. Now, you might be surprised, but you actually are using a lot of functions up until this point in the course. We have used the print function, the range function in loops, we have used the append and the extend function in list and so on. All of these are actually built-in functions in Python and they are provided by default to you. Apart from this build-in functions, as we have seen in the example just before, you can create your own functions in Python and they are known as user-defined functions. Apart from user-defined functions, there are lambda functions and there is a concept of recursion in functions. We will learn them in the following videos. Thank you.